Now, in the run-up to and during World War II, Japan ran a covert biological and chemical warfare research and development unit that carried out gruesome and lethal experiments on human subjects. To raise awareness of the atrocities, an exhibition on the notorious Unit 731 has opened in Seoul. Kim Hyun-bin reports. Guinea pigs. That's what Unit 731 called as test subjects. Japanese colonial troops established a human testing lab in the 1930s in Manchuria, China. It will carry out the most horrendous biological and chemical research the world has ever seen, conducting 30 different types of inhumane and gruesome living body tests. With the cooperation of the Chinese government, the tools that were used during the testing are on display for the first time in Korea at the Independence Hall of Korea. This box was used to incubate viruses, bacteria and microorganisms for use on the subjects. These tools were used to cut and hang live organs. These are all proof of Japan's past wartime wrongdoings. The exact number of people who died horrible deaths at the hands of Unit 731 is not known, but it's thought to be around 1,500. Most of the victims were Chinese. Six Koreans were estimated to have died, but it could have been a lot more. In the 1930s, many Korean independence fighters switched nationalities to Chinese, so there could have been more victims of Korean descent than the estimates show. In 2002, Japan acknowledged the gruesome acts carried out by the Unit 731, but the Chinese victims say Tokyo showed no sign of genuine remorse. The Japanese government needs to restore the lives and dignity of the victims and need to compensate the victims' families. This issue, along with Tokyo's reluctance to offer a full and frank apology for its military use of sex slaves during the war, continued to stir up tensions in Northeast Asia. Organizers of the exhibition say it shows Tokyo needs to admit to and make amends for its wartime atrocities. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.